the great and the powerful um, and the sensational and the amazing, yeah, formerly known as Kanye West. So it's looking like nowadays in society, as long as you are somewhat of a linchpin, somewhat irreplaceable, right? Linchpin and irreplaceable, you can essentially get away with absolutely anything. And this is the perfect example of it. Big up, yay. Big up, yay. So as most of you are aware, Adidas CEO has just announced that he will continue selling um, 600 million um, pound dollars worth sorry, of Yeezy inventory that are sitting on and plan to donate a portion of the profits to charity per the agreement they have to pay a 15% of the gross sales. So after all that hoopla, after all that crying and commotion, after all of that, you know, anti-Semitism talk and he is putting people in danger and blah, de, blah, blah, blah. At the end of it, Kanye West is not enough of an anti-Semite for them not to just burn the products in a symbolic gesture. They're still willing to be in business with him and collect the monies, you know, pay them out to their board members or shareholders, whatever it may be, and then give him the royalties. This says everything about today's society. Like if you are good enough, if your work is good enough, the, they will always come back around, which essentially means you can get away with just about anything, really and truly. He suffered, you know, in terms of optics again, he suffered maybe slightly in terms of celebrity friends and all that malarkey and clout. Those things people care about a lot. Yo, big up Hyde F10. Yo, big up Hyde F10. Thank you for the $5 super chat. Um, What part of Manchester am I from? The same part of Manchester where your mom's from, brother. That's the same part, okay? <laughs> the same part of Manchester where your mom's from yeah how dare you question my flipping loyalty to the great man united hey eh? how dare you but thank you for the five dollars super chat man appreciate you <laughs> appreciate you uh, <laughs> honestly people keep bullying me about this whole thing for a while but i don't care man. i'm not going to get bullied on the internet about my affiliation to man united what do you want me to do support fucking arsenal is that what you want to do you want me to be like every other fucking stereotypical black person in the fucking London and support Arsenal and Chelsea? Is that what you want me to do? And then you start calling me flipping names. Nig nog this, nig nog that. No, 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 no. I'm going to buck the trend. No racial, you know, term uh, intended there. And I'm going to go and support fucking Man United. But big up you anyway. Big up you, High Def. I appreciate the fucking super chat. Big up, big up, big up. Anyway, moving on. So um, this is amazing and cool. Honestly, um, I always felt like the reaction against CA and what his comments what he said during that whole entire anti-semitism flipping promo run right that anti-jewish flipping you know album drop release date thing that he was doing i always thought the reaction to it was a bit ott especially for adidas i feel like if all his celebrity entertainment people friends wanted to distance themselves from him fair enough because essentially all the agents in flipping the entertainment industry over there are from some sort of jewish heritage and whatnot and production companies i understand if it feels bad for business for people in the industry to kind of put distance between him and them right i understand that i think yeah will be smart enough to understand their position also i thought the corporations were a bit dumb because if anything because of how much value he brings to adidas and their bottom line right we heard from from the very beginning he was contributing up to like one percent five percent this was from like a new line for a heritage well-known established sportswear brand that said everything about how poorly adidas performs and how great yeezy was doing so i felt for adidas to go out of their way to completely end the entire deal cut all communication and really make a stand and put statements out i thought they were doing a bit too much but if we're being fair to Adidas too, it was a reflection on just how unlikable Ye was at that time. And you can just imagine how many people behind the scenes he legitimately pissed off and that honestly didn't like him and wanted to essentially stick it to him for how poorly and how horribly he must have treated him throughout the entire time relationship with Adidas. So I completely understood that. But I thought it was a little bit short-sighted and eventually it would come to bite them in the ass because when he does sign for another big company out there and revive that brand they're going to be ruining the day that they let go of him but i still think it's encouraging news that we're essentially going to get some adidas's back again from yeezy the only disappointing thing for me being a fan of the shoes is the fact that the desert boots that i wanted aren't on the list 
So allegedly, according to this um, yay centric Stan account on Twitter called Kanye Streams One, um, this is the alleged unreleased Yeezy stock that's due to come out over the next, I guess, year or plus. So you've got mostly slides. You've got a pair of Adidas Yeezy 1050s, which are the ones that he wore when he was doing the release of Donda when he was wearing all red. Those type of shoes, if you remember them. He's, they've got a couple of foam runners. We've got a pair of Yeezy four foam runner V2s. Those are the versions that people kind of allege Adidas for stealing. We've got a couple of Yeezy 350 V1s. We've got another V2. We've got another V2. We've got a Yeezy Boost 350 V2 CMPT. Yeezy 500, which are probably the weakest ones. We've got some boots here, not the ones I wanted though. We've got these boots, the Yeezy 500 highs. And then the ones I actually want, the ones I'm really excited about are these, the Yeezy boost 950 pirate blacks and these i think were around the same time that ye probably had the best style wise in terms of what used to rock with the bomber jackets and those boots so if i can just, let's see if i can get them up here easy 950s those are i think my best my favorite version when you used to wear these and these are kind of essentially they kind of look like duck boots They've kind of got like the duck boot type of silhouette to them, as you can see. Actually, let me get this off the screen there. But you can kind of see them here. They sort of got like a duck boot type of silhouette on them. So I think those were definitely some of my favorites that he, that he ever made. But the ones I was actually looking forward to purchasing were the Yeezy Desert Boots, which I never had a chance to kind of cop. I can probably end up getting them on flipping eBay and stuff after the fact, but these are an extremely underrated model. I feel like in the whole catalog of Yeezy Boots and they're super versatile. They can be worn really easily and look really good with shorts and obviously with some pants and shit, bloody blah, blah, blah. And I was hoping that these were the ones that were going to be released also, but it's looking like we're only going to get the, um, the ones that I flipping mentioned, which are over here. So these are the ones we're getting so far, but so far so good. I still think these are going to sell out like flipping hotcakes. Um, I'm actually liking the look of these 500 highs here with the soles. They look pretty interesting, but you know, these are going to go crazy. People are going to go absolutely crazy for the pirate black Yeezy 350s. Um, Yeezy slides always do incredibly well. The markup on them is just insanely crazy, especially considering these colors haven't come out officially ever yet. So the fact that people are going to be able to get legit pairs instead of buying fake ones are going to be happy about that. Um, I'm sure these easy 1050 high reses are going to do incredibly well also because of the iconic picture of Ye doing that Donda performance wearing all red. Let me see if I can get up on here as well. Um, Kanye West, Donda, let's see, Donda red outfit. Let's see if I put that, but it should come up here. We should see it. Let me see if I pull it up. Yep, there you go so that, that that was a red outfit that he wore those shoes in so i'm sure those are going to go absolutely stupid hard when they eventually do come out people are going to be all over them i do maybe anticipate he may maybe he may actually decide to put out that red um gap jacket on his own also because i don't think that actually did come out maybe i'm mistaken but i don't think the red gap jacket actually come out i think it was just um the black and another color but not actually the red jacket so that might be an actually um interesting thing to see happen in real time but yeah yeezy is back um we're gonna see them back out there again all that posturing all that moral grandstanding all of that get him out there pain council culture nonsense is over if you're talented enough that's what basically it shows that's what the message should be to all people instead of worrying about your instead of worrying about like you know clout instead of worrying about networking just become really good at what you do if you become really good at what you do you become really undeniable you become an incredible linchpin to a company to a to an institution to a corporation to a brand sometimes the rules will not apply to you sometimes the rules will not apply to you and sometimes the rules can be bent to your favor because of how much you contribute to the overall bottom line that is what we're getting here from yay because i think if anybody else in society in culture would have said what yay did it's over for you it's a wrap it's a complete wrap but the fact that yay here's who he is he's able to get away with it he's able to kind of get away with his scoff free and he's able to kind of move maneuver got himself a new wifey dresses up looking like a bit of a tramp they're gallivant around he's wearing shin pads outside like he's fighting but he doesn't fight and shit living life you know sitting on really uncomfortable chairs putting out new shoes it's all good life is absolutely amazing so big up yay i can't wait for those shoes to drop i cannot wait for those shoes to drop